The General Legal Council of the Gambia inaugurates its first ever office since the establishment of the council 40 years ago. The General Legal Council is a statutory body established under the Legal Practitioner Act and is chaired by the Honorable Chief Justice of the Republic of the Gambia, Hassan B. Jallo. The council is confided with the authority to regulate the legal profession and in particular regulate admission to the legal practice, uphold standards of professional conduct and provide for legal education in the Gambia. The General Legal Council comprises members from the bench, the bar, and the Attorney General's chambers. Speaking at the inauguration, Honorable Hassan B. Jallo, the Chief Justice of the Gambia, highlights the significance of the office to the Council. He says, despite not having an office for the past 40 years, the Council made considerable progress on its mandates. It's important that the Council, as, a, as an independent body, body corporate, legal body corporate should have its own separate premises uh, and i think with the inauguration today and with the employment of permanent staff by the council the council will be able to focus much more vigorously uh, on the on the mandate that is imposed on it by the statute so we're looking forward to uh, great days ahead uh, in the work of the, of the council notwithstanding this shortcoming of uh, lack of premises over the past decades, the council has made tremendous strides. Uh, it has been overseeing the, the admission, the call to the bar of, uh, of, of graduates from the law school. And I'm delighted that the director general is here with us today. The enrollment of legal practitioners as well. The law school has, since its establishment, um, graduated over 400, 400 lawyers now. Uh, and, and their training has been supervised by the General Legal Council. Uh, and I want to congratulate them for, for the success. The Chief Justice further explained some of the reforms the General Legal Council intends to make at the Gambia Law School. Uh, there, there is also a lot of other work in progress. The Council has already uh, mandated a review of the training program at the law school. There is a possibility that it will extend beyond a year and that more practical subjects will be, will be included uh, in the training. We are looking at the issue of the PPA as the president of the, of the Bar Association has indicated. There are many challenges with the PPA. Not everybody can find chambers at the moment, it seems. Do we need PPA or do we need to substitute it with something else? Uh, we need to look at the tenancy requirement for council uh, to, to serve on the tenants, even after enrollment for a period, I believe, of three years before they can be on their own. Do we need that kind of restriction? There is, there, is, there is that issue. There is the issue of right of audience by legal practitioners in the superior courts. It should every council immediately upon enrollment be entitled to appear at the Supreme Court unaccompanied by a senior lawyer? There are risks to that, for instance. Unintentionally, uh, Perhaps the court may be not be served as well as it should. Clients may not be served as well as it should. In many jurisdictions, uh, the right of audience is, is restricted by a requirement that for a fixed number of years following your, your enrollment, you will appear under the leadership of a senior counsel until, until after a certain number of years. We are looking at those possibilities. Mr. Salih Tal, the president of the Gambia Bar Association, says the General Legal Council needs to be an autonomous body as he calls for amendment. I believe that we need further amendments um, to really give uh, the GLC the autonomy it needs to operate as an autonomous body uh, to be able to really uh, well resourced, well manned. Sorry, when I, don't, when I say my equipment, to really discharge. Uh, function of regulating the education of lawyers because I think we need to do a lot to make sure that we increase the quality of legal practitioners. I mean, even though our mandate is with the law school, but I think we have to even go further than that, look at how we can really I mean, increase the quality of the practitioners. To also look at the perennial problem of people like the people like system. I mean, it leaves a lot to be desired in terms of there are many Many, many, I mean, the people system is such that you have uh, many aspiring lawyers who sometimes may not have an opportunity to get a privilege. I'm not saying that everybody who 
finish law school, we have people like that doesn't have anywhere in the world. But I think we should make it we should, we should make it as open as possible to enable as many as possible to have the opportunity. For that reason, we need to review the system to see how best we can address the problem. Also, to look at how we can also address the quality of um, tutelage or training that's given by field masters. Because when you are doing a tutelage, you are attached to a chamber, and that the, the people master have the responsibility to impart knowledge, skills, and give the right ethical comportment to be a legal practitioner of standing. We also need to look at how we can also strengthen that. Meanwhile, Mr. Abdullah Koli, the Registrar General of the Ministry of Justice, assures the audience of his office's commitment to helping the General Legal Council to achieve its core mandates efficiently. As a ministry, uh, we believe having a secretariat is key, and then um, it's good to have a place where you call home. MOJ is uh, committed to passing amendment, as uh, earlier mentioned. This is particularly important for uh, this disciplinary committee, which, as we all know, currently cannot uh, sit or have a quorum because of the nature of the law. And as a result, we believe it's important to have amendment to make it possible so that the backlog of uh, disciplinary matters can be uh, fast track and dealt with according to uh, to law. Uh, MOJ will continue to play its role for the effective and functional uh, GLC in the discharge of its mandate uh, according to law. The General Legal Council has, as one of its mandates, the establishment of a school of law in the Gambia and to be the governing body of that school. In the year 2011, the Council established the Gambia Law School. The General Legal Council is also entrusted with the mandate by virtue of Section 26, Subsection 1 of the Legal Practitioner Act 2016, Intralalia, to make arrangements for a system of legal education, select the subjects in which those seeking to qualify for enrollment are to be examined, establish the causes of of instruction for students and regulate the admission of students reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Sisi.